What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the Red Bang cast or Re Resurrection Reviews or whatever it is up in here. As you all know, I've been doing a series going through 80s horror. I found out a, about a list. Uh, I created a little list based on all these other lists and uh, references online to the 1980s greatest horror movies. I've been going through that. Big 80s horror series. A uh, bunch of them up here. Some online for streaming and stuff like that. Today, we are going to continue that series with a double feature of the often wonderfully entertaining, but also often rather underrated, great director, Toby Hooper. And we are going to start this off the right way with Toby Hooper's favorite beverage. I've got a glass of ice here, and I've got... A bottle of Dr. Pepper here. Now one thing you always have to remember, wait, wait, I've got to let you hear the crack. Oh yeah, very nice, very nice. <sighs> there we go. Get this poured here. A lot of head on this one. But ladies and gents, Dr. Pepper was Toby Hooper's favorite drink. Uh, there's a lot of references to him when he's making his movies, just um, sitting around on set, drinking Dr. Pepper and smoking cigars. What an interesting fella. He even had, like, one of those beer helmets with the, the two beers and the straws going in, but instead of beer, it was Dr. Pepper. Cheers, ladies and gents, to Toby. Mmm. Wonderful, wonderful flavor. I'm a big fan of Dr. Pepper, always have been. I've always found Dr. Pepper to be one of the greatest of all the mass-produced sodas in the world. And, in honor of Toby, we're drinking that. Get this out of your way after one more sip. Wonderful drink. So, Dr. Pepper, delicious. But just as delicious... The filmography of Toby Hooper. Now, there are two movies on the greatest horror films of the 1980s, according to the internet, list. And the first one is from 1982. It is Poltergeist, produced and written by Steven Spielberg, directed by Toby, Toby Hooper. We'll talk about the sort of controversy surrounding this movie in multiple aspects, uh in the next video, which will be a review of this movie. And then, after that, we're going to watch the 1985 slasher classic, the sequel to The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Uh, this is a wonderful Blu-ray, by the way. I'll probably do a real quick rundown on the special features of this. But... Guys, I love this movie. You know I love this movie. You've seen me do live streams about it. You've seen me talk about it a million different times. I've probably reviewed it otherwise, but I'm going to do that one more time. Talk about this great horror comedy. In my opinion, one of the greatest horror movies of the 1980s, and maybe the best slasher sequel of all time, in my opinion. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful movie. Really love it. Very Toby Hooper. Uh, it was on the set of this movie that he is most notably drinking a ton of Dr. Pepper uh, out of the uh, out of the beer mug, uh, the, the beer helmet thing. One more delicious sip of Dr. Pepper. We're gonna be watching these movies. We're gonna be drinking Dr. Pepper. We're gonna be eating Funyuns because I've got Funyuns. Uh, we're going to be having fun with these movies. It's going to be a really good time, and I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming videos. I personally am a big fan of Toby Hooper. Uh, he's directed a lot of stuff that's sort of mediocre, but even those are fun. The great thing about Toby Hooper is every movie he's ever directed has been at least somewhat fun. Uh, I can only think of maybe a couple that I've legitimately disliked uh, by Toby Hooper. And both of these, I mean, I really love the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. 
I've not been the biggest fan of Poltergeist in the past. There's a couple of aspects about it I'm just not a big fan of. But I will talk to you about Poltergeist in the upcoming video. Like with the David Cronenberg double feature, I'm going to be just sort of trying to set aside all previous opinions and just view these with new eyes, especially Poltergeist, considering I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, and I'm going to try and tone down my just fanboy love of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, but that might be impossible. So, anyway, going to be watching these movies today. Hopefully, I'll at least get the review of Poltergeist up. Uh, I may not be able to get the review of the, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 recorded and up yet. I uh, may not even get to watch that movie today because I do have work at 4 o'clock. But regardless, I think we're going to have fun, going to enjoy a good time with this wonderful Toby Hooper double feature. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the videos to come. Got my Dr. Pepper shirt on, ready to rock, Doc. One more sip of the pep. Actually, two. I'm going to do two sips. Delicious. You know the actual flavor they put in there to give it its uh, sort of different flavor is prune juice. I've never had prune juice. I can't imagine it tastes quite as good as Dr. Pepper. It's a blend of many wonderful flavors. 23, I think. Wonderful stuff. But let's stop talking about soda. Let's stop talking about Toby. And let's get right into this series, which I'm calling Totally Toby. Double feature of Toby Hooper movies. Rock on. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.